My first guest, Brooke, had everything in life going for her, an exciting career she loved, and a new life in New York City. But once the pandemic struck last year, it put her life on hold, and now she's struggling to get started again. For the past 18 years, I've had my own event business, weddings, social events, corporate events. I was Barbara Bush's chief of staff from 2000 to 2003. I worked for the Ryder Cup matches for the PGA. I've done the Final Four basketball tournaments. And as wonderful as my business has been, it has not led for me to have a social life. Last fall, I decided I'm going to move to New York City. I'm going to work on two things. I'm going to expand my business and I'm going to work on my social life. Everything in New York was going so great. And then five months into it, COVID happened and everything stopped. For the next few months, I tried to do projects and it just didn't work. My industry is illegal. You can't gather in groups. Eventually, I realized I need income. And so I started applying for jobs. I would say I probably sent out close to 200 resumes, but I received zero responses. Aside from not having a career right now, the social life is gone. I'm just not the type of person that can really build a relationship with somebody over a video conversation. I'm used to making lemonade out of lemons, and right now I feel like I just itched my eye with the lemon juice. Brooke, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Hi. Great to be here. Yeah, so, well, I wish you were here under better circumstances, but we'll see if we can make things a little better by the time we're done. Um, millions of people, of course, have been totally affected by the pandemic. Lives have been upended. Things have changed. Um, you find yourself in somewhat of a frozen situation. How are you doing? Yeah, I, it's funny. Frozen, it, that's exactly it, because that's kind of what I describe to my friends. Like, some days I'm productive, but a lot of days I stare at the wall or I stare at my phone and keep, you know, hitting refresh on it. As far as a social life, you know, you're not really volunteering or doing anything. I, there's a little bit of online dating, but it's, you know, what what does that look like? It's, yeah. You know, are you are you somebody's pen pal at that point? Like, right. I want to sit across from a table or I want to golf with somebody or walk around. And, you know, yeah. I, I'm a little superficial. I want to see what their shoes look like. You know, a little bit. I feel like I'm the former prom queen who's looking back at her life going, wait, did I peak? Am I done? I look at my resume and say, wait, this is such a great Rolodex. And I've done so many amazing things. Like, why? Why am I, you know, a little bit of why me, but I know it's everybody. And what, what do I do? Where do I go from here? I have to kind of learn and pivot and, and change everything. Well, uh, we're all about middle. pivoting this show for sure. We have a segment actually called The Pivot. But I want to ask you something real quickly. How are you paying the bills, for example? How are you getting by? How is this working? Well, I used to have a savings. So that was interesting. And it's, it's fun because a lot of my friends in the event world will say, you know, we went from having a wonderful, like one of the best or last best couple of years. And I'm like, well, thank God we did because that set us up to be able to do this. So sure. it's tough. It's yeah. tough. It's scary. And For it's everybody, scary. by the way.